Vikings and welcome to HF. We are so happy to have you here with us at HF and look forward to meeting you. For today's mission, you are going to meet your counselors from the guidance department, learn about our student support services and the role of a counselor, and how to build a solid foundation for success here at HF with our student success five. I'm Ms. Edwards. And I am Mrs. Leverson. At HF, students are matched to their counselors by their last name. So if your last name begins with Brownfield through DR, then I am your counselor. And if your last name falls between H-A-M to L-A-M, then I'm your counselor. Like I said, you will meet the rest of the team of counselors in just a minute. Right now, though, we want to introduce you to our fearless leader and the head of the guidance department, Mr. Smith. Hi, my name is Mr. Schmidt, and I am the department chair for your guidance office. Let me begin by welcoming you to HF and reassuring you that you have the most talented group of professionals here to support you throughout your time while at HF. You already met Ms. Edwards and Mrs. Leverson, and in just a few minutes, you'll meet and hear from some of the other members of our team. But before that, let me briefly introduce you to several other members of our department who were unable to join us today. Mrs. Sauter is a school counselor for the Alpha Slice LAN to MOO. Mrs. Mall is the school counselor for the Alpha Slice MOP to ROBE. Mr. Suarez is a school counselor for students with the last name T-H-O-N to Z. And Ms. Kekka is our special ed school counselor. We also have four social workers providing group and individual supports, as well as other activities throughout the week, such as Wellness Wednesday. Please be sure to keep an eye open for future announcements regarding these activities. Our social workers are Mrs. White, Mr. Jones, Mrs. Van Vliet, and Mrs. Collin. Mrs. White, Mrs. Van Vliet, and Mrs. Collin can be found in the South Building. Mr. Jones can be found in the North Building. We all wish you the happiest and healthiest of school years filled with nothing but success. Next up, it's my pleasure to introduce to you one of our college counselors, Mr. Kane. Hi, my name is Mr. Kane. I'm one of the college counselors. Mr. Coy is the other college counselor and he could not be here with us today. I work with the first half of the alpha split and Mr. Coy has the second half. Our job is to help students figure out what they will do after high school. This may include military, trade schools, two or four year colleges, a whole other plethora of options. A few things I would like to talk about today are first and most importantly your grades. The most important thing that you can do to prepare for life after high school will be your final grade point average which will determine the options that you do have as you leave HF. The second thing I'd like to talk to you today is just to encourage you to explore and explore courses and interest areas, activities and extracurriculars. Please try to get involved as much as you possibly can. Another thing I'd like to talk about is using the resources that you have available to you at Homewood Flossmoor High School. I know that you've heard lots about them today, but I can't encourage you from my seat is to continue to use your counselors, your social workers, your teachers, anyone you see in the building that may answer questions or help direct you in some, uh, some way to help you as you leave HF. Finally, we, uh, I'd like to advertise our college counseling page. There are tons of resources on that page. If you use the quick links tab on the main HF website, you will find resources that will answer many questions that you have about life after HF. Up next, I'll turn it over to Mr. Booth, who will talk to you about your mission here at HF. Hello, my name is Broderick Booth, and I am a student support counselor here at HF. We are here to ensure that you are successful. Your mission is to arm yourself with as much information as possible. This is how you ensure your success. Students suffer due to a lack of knowledge, understanding, and failing to ask for help. Your mission is our mission. Make a big school smaller by being involved. Study, study, study. One of the greatest points of growth is the increased amount of time required on task for your study. Start strong. Think about where you want to be five years from now in life after HF. The time moves fast. Move with your end in mind. And up next, you will meet the rest of the phenomenal HF counseling team with info on how to complete your mission with fidelity. 
Hello and welcome to HS. My name is Mrs. Staple, and I have all students whose last names begin with the letter A through Brown. Now let's talk about the role of your school counselor. Counselors help guide students on an individual basis to monitor academic success and progress towards graduation. Counselors also help you explore what life after high school is for you, whether it's college, military, gap year, or trade school. We are here to help you create your path. And finally, we help with personal and social issues as well. And now, I will turn it over to Mr. McCarthy, who will talk to you about where our office is located and other helpful tips. Hi, I'm School Counselor Mr. McCarthy, and my Alpha Slice has last names D.L. through H.E.L. Our office is located in the hallway leading to G Building. It's close to the main gym and lunchroom. Your mission for first semester is to start off strong academically. To make sure you start off strong, meet with your counselor. In class, use active learning, take some notes, and learn to manage your time and stay organized. Learning to communicate with your teachers and using all of HS, HF's resources will help you, and we'll talk about those later in the video. If you need help with any of these skills, no worries. We can help you learn those skills, and we'll go in more depth when we meet with you during advisory, or what we call it, Viking Compass this semester. Here's Mrs. Edwards to talk about your graduation requirements. So we will also help you to learn how to make an appointment to meet with your counselor. And it's really important that you know what to do to graduate from HF within four years. You need a minimum of 22 credits in these required areas. Four years of English, three years of math, three years of science, and three and a half years of social science. Also, PE, health, and driver's ed are required. Other courses will come from electives. For instance, intro to business, band, graphic design, intro to engineering, culinary, creative writing, yearbook, or a whole host of other electives we have here at HF. Language is not required. However, it is strongly encouraged because most colleges ask for two years of a foreign language for their admissions. If you're a transfer student, you are bringing your credits from your previous school with you, and we'll make sure you have what you need from HF to graduate. Hello again, I am Mrs. Levinson, again one of the school counselors, and I'm going to be talking to you about your GPA, the semester, and midterm exams and resources we offer here at HF. You want to start off the gate strong, and you want to make sure your mission really counts. That means working towards having a great foundation in your GPA. Again, GPA stands for grade point average. Starting off strong will ensure that you are learning the content and are ready for your exam. And it helps you become eligible for scholarships by the time your senior year rolls around. Speaking of exams, you have midterms at the end of the first semester, which is in December before you go on winter break and at the end of the school year before summer break. Later, we will introduce you to a tool we use here called Naviance. Naviance, which can help you learn more about yourself and what you want to do through interest surveys, make a plan at HF, and help you create a resume. It also will help you explore careers and colleges and learn more about scholarship opportunities. Also, we want you to get to know our website. Lots of great information there, like information on resources, such as tutoring, which is very important here at HF, and that will be found under the student tab. Oh, and you can find our page by going to the main website, hfhighschool.org, under academic department. Then, guidance. Hello again, I'm Mr. Booth, and I'm going to talk to you guys about extracurricular activities, which here at HF, we have plenty to go around. So do get involved. We have many organizations, clubs, and sports teams. There's things such as the speech team, broadcasting, girls and boys golf, snowball, football, basketball, robotics, peer mediation, black student union, the step team, and many, many more. Character counts both on and off the field of play. And in order to make sure you're involved in those extracurricular activities, please make certain to keep your grades up as well.
Hi, everyone. I'm Dr. Olson, and my student alpha goes from R-O-B-I through T-H-O-M-P. That's roughly Robinson through Thompson. To summarize what my fellow counselors just said, if you don't remember anything else that was said here today, remember this. We are here for you. We're here to help you with any of your academic or personal concerns, and also to help you with any rough spots. We also would like to share your successes with you. Now, to optimize success while you're a student at HF, you should attend all classes, and if you miss one, be sure to ask your teachers the work you missed, and then do it. Do all your work on time, all the time, and you won't have any problems getting great grades. Use your HF resources, that's teachers, tutors, deans, librarians, and even your peers. And know your HF graduation requirements. Most of all, get involved. Whether you're in a sport or in a club or doing community service with anyone from HF, it's a great way to get to know people. It's a great way to feel good about yourself and to accomplish things. Today, your counselors are looking forward to meeting you. Good luck and a successful year from your HF High School Guidance Department.